Hi everybody and welcome back. Now, so far, um, I've stuck the lid on. Let's stuck the um, metal onto the lid, as you can see. I've also used um, alphabet letter B because it's for a certain little girl. I was going to make her a tag like I made a mum last night, um, Faye, but I decided to make Belle or Bella. I'm not sure how you say it. Um, another trinket box to keep a little bit of jewellery in because she's only three but I'm sure if she doesn't keep jewellery in she'll keep something in it and I think she will appreciate it. Now what I've done I've edged, I've, I've dabbed it in the purple which was the um, plum luscious and then I've gone over it with perfect pearls in the purple uh, sorry in the pink just to give it a little pinky shine and then I've embossed it using the Versamark and the copper embossing powder. And then I also, oops, sorry. Then I also have embossed in copper around the edges, sealing the metal. I'm going to have to go over it again. There's just a little bit of the edging that needs to be sealed because I don't want Bella to cut herself on it or anything like that. And how I did that is I just used the Versamark pen again, went over the edges. Like that, poured the uh, embossing powder on it in copper, and then use the heat gun just to emboss that. And it, it's come out really, really nice. I love it. Okay, I'm sorry about that. And then what I've done with the sides, as you can see, I've just used the um, Versamark pen, drawn the pattern that I want, and I've just done some squirrelies on the sides, just to give a little bit more decoration. And I've just got this side to do, so I'm just going to show you. I left one to, to show you how. And all it is, basically, is take your pen, do some loopy lines like that, and then where you've got space, draw a little pattern like that that's it that's all you do cover that with your embossing powder see like that and then just emboss that oops sorry I need everything on my right I'm right handed and I have to have everything on my left it's murder You see I've just done that and before I go any further I've just had a text from my brother I'm gonna have to read it to you because he's funny um, let me just get back to the um, inbox wait a minute now it says Paddy's dad dies, so he's crying. After two mins, he's, he cries even louder. Friend, what's happened now? Paddy, my sister just called me. Her dad's died as well. <laughs> I laughed my socks on when I read that earlier during the break. <laughs> I hope you'll not get that because I thought that was funny. I like silly things like that. He sends me them all the time. Um, yeah, it's daft. Daft as a brush. I used to have loads on my other phone until it got stolen. And you can't get them back once you've got them. Right, what I'm going to do... <laughs> Take my Versamark and I'm just going over the edges again just to seal them. <laughs> my sister phoned her dad died as well. well. I don't know. I mean, no, you shouldn't be laughing, but it's only a joke. I found it funny. See, you know, those little things please me. <laughs> 
little things make me laugh. Now what's happened with this, because I've gone over the edges of the metal, it's actually sealing it onto the box, um, which I'm uh, pleased about that. So I'll just make sure I go onto the metal. To give credit where credit is due. Now Caroline, who I went to see the other day, that's uh, Maybu 14, she not only lent me some books to um, have a look through, um, she also put me in touch with a couple of the websites, um, just to have a browse around and see what's what. So thanks to her, I, um, I'm going to have a really good look and see what things I can see that I can alter, that I can twist and make my own, which is what we do, of course. And um, so I can't wait to have a look. The thing is, I haven't got enough hours in the day at all, and it drives me insane like everything else does. <laughs> off sealing this it's, uh, I'm quite quite pleased with it actually I'm very pleased with this one because we've not finished yet I'm also going to be uh, sealing the top to put a gloss on it and um, I don't want the paint to come off at all or the glimmer mist So we've got that so far, all edged, and I think that's really, really pretty, really pretty. All the edges are done like that, and then I'm just going to pop this back in here. Pop it up there for a minute. And what I'm going to do now is to seal this. Now for this one, wait a minute, where's my other one? See, we cannot find nothing. We cannot find nothing. Well, first of all, we're going to use this, which is the tacky glue. Not for the letter. This is my mixture of water and um, PVA glue. Take a brush, and you're just going to give this a coat. Don't brush it, brush it, just dab it because it will, the colour underneath, because it's um, it's only a glimmer, a water-based thing, it will um, lift, so you just need to dab it, but you'll still have all that beautiful colour and texture. Oops, don't want it on there. Okay. And that'll just seal that. So even if she got that wet or spilt something on it, it would seal it, which is fabulous. And then do the inside. And 
that's not going to take long to dry and I might be able to um, heat dry that to be honest. And if, don't do it right down because you'll bubble it. You don't want to do that. Yep, that's heat drying it. It's basically seeing it. Now, problem is, I don't know what I've done with mine. Oh, that is my glossy accent. Oh, Miss. Oh no, that's not that. That's not that. Is that mine? I think this is the old one. I'll never find what I want. No, it is new. Well, it's not new anymore. I've used it loads. Just gonna put some glossy accents over the letter B. Which will seal in but make a nice effect. still when it's dry be able to see the colour underneath. I'm not actually going over onto the copper um, embossing that I've done. Now I can't lift this up because I don't want it to um, So hopefully that will dry nicely. I'll try and do it look like that. See? That's going to look gorgeous for it. And when you're putting your lettering on, don't put it on straight or in the corner. It doesn't look right. You need to just twist it. Put it on like that. And that looks absolutely fabulous. I made up with that. So while that is drying, put that somewhere to dry. We're now going to do the base. And it's the same technique which is take your colours, so I'm just going to get some more colour of mine, he's back with the green. He didn't get any from Sammy, uh, from um, uh, Hobbycraft, so uh, Sammy Tellers did say they were expecting some in, so I'm going to go back down tomorrow and have a look, see if they've got them, well I'll ring them and see if they've got it in, so you might have to wait a day or two, um, because like I said, somebody's ordered this and uh, so you might have to wait a day or two. I'm really sorry, but we will get it yet, so don't worry about it. Yeah, Sam's was just waiting for a shipment coming in. Well, pay it well. I don't know where they're going to get it from anyway. So going back to these three colours, we're now going to use the sponge again. These sponges are great for texture. Great. They really are. And just dab that on around the the box because it's a stippling look see how it looks stippled sorry if I'm not showing you Then go in with the purple and again we're just doing it on the corners like that 